All right, what is going on, my dudes? We are back here today with one more patented Karate Mike colorful spreadsheet before Cyber Weekend arrives. I haven't scheduled these to go up yet, but I can only imagine this one will come last. Um, it just makes the most sense, right? It's kind of like the natural order of things. Who to rank, who to awaken, who to sig up, you know? Um, but yeah. So anyway, at this point, right, we kind of know what this is. Uh, this is my opinion. These are champions who I personally believe will be a worthwhile investment for your six tones that you buy or exchange your units for or just come across naturally. And all the classes, we're going to organize it by who I believe are the top options in the class, good options in the class, and a couple debatable ones as well. And I'll explain my reasoning, of course, but uh, let's jump into it right away. And you'll notice that my top options for a lot of these is not going to match the same as for the Awakening Gem. And skill is a perfect example. I find Nick Fury to be the top option for even, you know, a skill gem and the only skill champion that I'd be running to put a generic gem into. However, I wouldn't take him above Sig 1. So for the top options for the skill class, I'm gonna go with Ragnagod and Mole Man. The skill class is a very interesting one because specifically, there are a lot of champions in the skill class where their sig ability solely just gives them more attack power. Ragnagod, Mole Man, and Stealthy do exactly that. Based on their sig level, they essentially get more passive fury in some way right that's essentially what happens um so depending on what champion you want to invest in and who you and what champions you value i would i, I have put six stones into all three of these champions before so i can definitely see a lot of value in taking these champions up in sigs if you um, want to invest in them for you know, Prestige, Stealthy, and Ragnagod both have really good Prestige. Mole Man, eh, not the best. Um, but there is definitely a very large damage increase between, you know, Sig 1 and Sig 200 for all of these champions. So I don't see any Sig Stones going to waste at all for any of these champions. Over here, we have two more, and that's going to be Aegon and Crossbones. Now, Crossbones, um, what he gains from his Sig is essentially at Sig 200, a 90% chance to shrug off debuffs, okay? At Sig 20, it is a 50% chance about, right? Right? So he definitely doesn't need the Sig Stones or he doesn't, and he doesn't need to be a high Sig. However, he definitely benefits from it quite a bit. Same thing for Aegon. Doesn't need to be a high Sig, but if you want to use this guy outside of Abyss, then he does, you know, ideally want to be at a high Sig. I don't personally recommend you put Sigs into Aegon. However, he is a good option if you like that kind of playstyle. A couple of debatable ones down here. OG Black Panther and Jabari Panther. I am personally in the camp of thinking that OG Black Panther is fine at Sig 1. And for me, what his Sig ability does for me is it makes him suicide friendly. It makes him shrug off the debuffs at the start of the fight. At a high sig, it really increases his utility by quite a bit. It allows you to shrug off things a lot more easy. It allows you to def uh, uh, decrease defensive ability accuracy a lot easier as well and a lot more potent. However, there are other skill champions that are much better at decreasing defensive ability accuracy, so I wouldn't want to bring Black Panther to Sig 200 for a semi-decent defensive ability accuracy reduction ability. Jabari Panther uh, becomes a lot more playable at a high sig. You know, she kind of flies under the radar a little bit. She's a little underrated, but if you are a big Jabari Panther fan, I could definitely see a lot of merit in taking her all the way up and taking her sig up as well. So yeah, she's definitely playable on Awakened in a lot of scenarios, but she's a lot more generic, you know, generically playable playable everywhere in the game at a high sig. Um, so when it comes to science now, top options are going to be obvious. Cap Infinity War and Thing, they both kind of want to be a sig 200. When it comes to good options, there's a lot of champions in the science class. It's really funny, man. It's like the science class is the class where it's like there's a lot of champions who are like usable on Awakened, but like they really benefit a lot from a really high SIG as well. So Spider-Man 2099 definitely doesn't need to be Awakened, but a huge benefit at SIG 200. Mr. Fantastic, same deal. Red Guardian, not as usable on Awakened, but huge, huge, huge benefit from every, you know, every 46 stones, I believe, right? He gets another like a uh, shield charge or something. Void, of course, every six stone counts. And then for debatable down here, we have iHulk and Ibon. Now, both these champions are playable unawakened. Ibon, I really don't think is worth six stones in my honest opinion, unless you're gonna, like for me, uh, I bombs at Sig one is a huge benefit because you start with poisons on yourself. The higher you go in Sig, the longer your acid burn and everything lasts on the opponent. And I feel like the only place this is only super necessary is in super long form content like like Labyrinth or Abyss style health pools. And I don't think you're going to be wanting to use I bomb in those scenarios. So I bomb has great prestige. He's definitely worthy of Sig stones. And he definitely benefits, but more often than not, I feel like Sig one is enough. I Hulk man, he definitely gets more utility at a 
high sig and it's reliable and very potent at sig 200 but he's also very playable on awakened and i don't it's not very often i see people using like his sig ability for utility but it's definitely debatable that he could uh you know benefit from some sigs over here in the mystic class of course we have dr doom i don't even think we have to talk about it Diablo, Tiger, and Mojo all benefit quite a bit from SIGs. Diablo doesn't need to be super high SIG, but he does benefit from the SIG stones. He gets more attack value and more damage reduction the higher you get. Tigra benefits a ton at SIG uh, 200. At SIG 20, she only has like, a, a, like I think, three seconds of her senses in the beginning. At SIG 200, I think off the top of my head, it's either 12 or 14 seconds. I don't remember the exact number, but it's a really big difference. It makes her a lot more suicide friendly, first of all, and it also makes her a lot easier and less stressful to play right out of the gate. Mojo has a, uh, a fury buff that he gains when he's awakened and the potency of the fury goes up and up and up all the way up through sig 200 and the damage increase of sig 200 is absolutely enormous i don't think i have anything in debate i think i have one i have dragon man but dragon man he definitely gains some nice utility when he gets awakened and by utility it's like what he does is he like reverses or reduces the potency of certain buffs on the opponent and for me there's a lot of things that dragon man could do really well but that's not really like what i'm going to be using him for right but at sig 200 he can do a lot of things he can reverse some healing as well he, he's a i think he can reverse healing i believe um with despair but overall great champion unawakened it doesn't need doesn't need to be awakened you're going to notice that a lot of the debatable champs are champions who like don't really need to be awakened and are great unawakened or at a very low sig all right so up next for the cosmic class we have of course hercules again i just don't think we need to explain why hercules needs sigs or it, it benefits from sigs at this point right Got King Root, Angela, Captain Marvel movie, Null, and Silver Surfer. Silver Surfer, let's start with this one. Obviously, prestige, that's why. He's definitely worth it. You know, it's a good investment for your Sig Stones. However, you know, he also gets some increased buff potency. Hopefully, this guy gets buffed eventually, man, because he's such a high profile champion and also he's the top prestige champ. And I just feel like so many people are investing in this guy and they're just not using him. So I do hope he gets like the Angela and King Groot treatment who benefit from SIGs quite a bit. Angela, of course, the higher your SIG, you're pretty much immune to damaging debuffs. King Groot, the regen is absolutely off the freaking chain. Captain Marvel movie, get it to about SIG 80, you're good to go, right? Um, don't give her too many SIGs, but just to SIG 80, that's all you really need. You're gonna have a nice duration on all of your buffs. And for Null, the higher the SIG, the better. It makes him ramp up a lot faster in short form content and really increases the damage as well. Let's you start with 13 Living Abyss debuffs on the opponent really good stuff and then for a debatable down here i threw an og thor man just because like og thor at sig 200 at rank 3 is absolutely bonkers the damage is actually insane man i can't like sit here and really recommend that you you know put things into og thor but if you're an enormous thor fan like myself man and you don't care about prestige and you just want to have some fun and you find yourself with an awakened og thor i think it's debatable that he could be worthy of some sig stones man because at sig 200 he absolutely freaking slaps um, over here same thing as hercules and doom i don't think we really have to explain why ghost benefits man now the tech class this is a long one i was kind of surprised going through it guardian i'd say benefits the most out of all the champions on this list he really benefits a lot are in this good options for tech he really benefits a lot from sig 200 nice energy resistance bleed resistance as well warlock a lot of people don't value his uh sig ability as highly as i do but i personally do value it quite a bit i like it a lot at sig 200 especially for stuff like alliance war silver centurion um you're going to increase your block proficiency and you're also going to increase the duration of your debuffs and passives on the opponent that's going to be really really good for playing this guy silver centurion pretty underrated champion at the moment uh ultron higher energy resistance uh reduced duration of instant rates and shocks really good ability vision higher you know power more power steel or more synthesis depending on which vision you like and for debatable this is more of a just not a nostalgia one we got starkey down here you know um i could definitely see some merit in putting stones in starkey if you don't care about prestige if you're like on that hardcore nostalgia train man with stark spidey if you love the guy he can definitely be worthy of some sigs his crit rating goes up quite a bit right so it's definitely decently worthy for top options in the mutant class over here i have omega red and namor omega red Still a top champ in the game, in my opinion, at Sig 200 with the Suicide Masteries and the Sabertooth Synergy, one of the best champions in the game. Namor, self-explanatory, needs to be Sig 200, amazing utility, some of the best utility in the entire game. Good options over here. Kitty Pride, Colossus, and Strife. Strife is kind of like, you know, I, I feel like I only like Strife in Labyrinth and Abyss. However, if you do, if you're a fan of Strife, kind of like Aegon, 
If you're a fan of these two champions and you want to use them outside of, you know, the long form content, you're really going to want them to be at a decently high SIG. That way the ramp up is a lot easier and more manageable. Colossus, I'm not a fan of the guy personally, but he benefits quite a bit from a high SIG. And then Kitty Pride as well, she benefits quite highly from a very high SIG. More, uh, what is it? I think it's defensive combat power rate while, um, what do you call it when you're uh, phasing so she definitely benefits quite a big from a bit from sigs and then for a debatable down here i only have one gem and this is the same as my um i clicked on the wrong thing and that's the same as my awakening gem debatable we have sunspot the only reason why is yes he does benefit quite a bit but he definitely doesn't need it he could absolutely be played unawakened but again like i said if you're looking for that quick prestige fix sunspot at rank three is going to carry weight for quite a bit of time um until you have five rank fours um so yeah this is uh my list for who i would give six stones to currently in the game um personally i'm going to be bringing my well my plans are to bring Ragnagon up to 200, but I think he's SIG 160 at the moment. Um, so, and there's still like two months left on this crystal. So I don't even know what I'm for sure I'm going to do with SIGs for Cyber Weekend, because I'm probably going to try to pull them two more times out of this featured uh, six star crystal. Uh, same thing for Spider-Man 2099 and the last 20 SIGs on Hercules. So I'm probably going to be throwing some SIGs into Mole Man personally. Um, if I happen to get Cap and uh, Infinity War Awakened, he could be a decent champion to put six into. But yeah, the, I don't know for sure what my plans are. I'm going to have to see who I pull, what I pull out of the featured crystals. Maybe I'll decide to start saving until the next one and just sig up Ragnagod, Hercules, and Spider-Man um, with the sigs that I get from this weekend. But we'll have to see. But anyway, my dudes, that's it for this one. If you did enjoy it, drop your boy a big old like. Comment what you think about the six stone list in the comment section below. And make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the Cyber Weekend fun coming to you this weekend. I'll be seeing you around.